What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's kind of late guys. The lights is kind of real blue right now. But anyways, I want to say thank you that everyone that has subscribed to the channel and thank you for everyone that be helping me out how to figure it out what the hell is going on with the tank. But anyway guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys something real quick. So I got myself some Kimmy Clean, man. And I can't wait to use this stuff. Uh, I saw a couple videos on YouTube how to treat this stuff to your tank and I'm just gonna give it a shot. The recommendation, everything's in the back is pretty clear, guys. Um, you gotta increase your oxygen in the tank. And I guess because of fish, they might, this might uh, affect your fish. So that's why you gotta increase your oxygen in the tank. So another thing is you gotta remove, if you're running any carbon media, you gotta remove the carbon. If you're running a UV, you gotta remove uh, the UV. Unplug, not to remove the UV, but unplug it, and so you can treat this. But anyways, um, after that you gotta uh, do 20 gallon water change, which I got my water ready set up here. And I will show you guys real quick. But I want to show you guys, you know, the new people that have subscribed to my channel. I want to show you guys the tank, how it look, and what's going on, what I'm dealing with, and. Yes, mi gente, estamos aquí para aprender. And yo le quiero dar muchas gracias a ustedes que me han comentado en los comentarios. I want to say thank you for everyone that be commenting, you know, and trying to help me out and figure out what's going on. But, yes, guys, let me show you guys real quick. I'm trying to do this video as quick as I can. I will be filming the tank. I will do another video. Well, not another video, but now, you know, 24 hours to see how it looks. And then, because you gotta wait 48 hours. So I'm gonna do like a 24 hours, see how the tank look, and then we go from there. But anyway, let me just stop talking and show you guys the tank. You guys gotta probably be tired looking at me. The stuff that I'm dealing with is right at the back of the wall, man. It's just like I said, it's everywhere. Now, the tank look nasty right now, guys. I haven't cleaned the glass, but everything look spotless. So I got my airstone right here in the corner set it up right here which is i'm gonna i'm gonna be removing the collecting cup from the protein skimmer so we're gonna down the we're gonna go down the basement another thing that i want to say guys is that my water volume is 160 gallon i have a 60 gallon frac tank connect to my 90 guys all right i will do some update later on on my frac tank but i'm gonna go down the basement and remove the collection cup and we're gonna go from there guys stay tuned so we're down in the basement now guys so i removed the collection cup from the protein skimmer guys and it's right here this thing smell nasty it's just real nasty stuff so you guys gotta dial this down guys remember when you um those that stuff to your tank the protein skimmer is gonna go crazy i'm gonna let it be like I said, I already saw some video on YouTube, and yes, I just gonna do the same treatment. Another thing is, guys, um, when you treat your tank with this stuff, you gotta check your nutrients because I know what's gonna happen now. Right now, my fax face is zero, but when I um, do this stuff, I will check my fax face tomorrow because your nutrients it will shoot up so i definitely am going to check my fax phase my nitrate is sitting at 10 ppm right now so i gotta watch out for the nitrate because you know what happened when fast phase elevate too high your nitrate will go down too guys you guys gotta understand that's that's how it goes that's the chemistry right there so let's go back to the 90 guys i'll see you guys upstairs all right guys we're back there you go i got my 20 gallon water right here already set up it's not even 20 gallon but almost close so we're back and let me do now now i'm gonna be adding water from aquarium this is a uh, one cup and i'm gonna add 15 scoop you know like i said it's 165 gallon water volume but i'm gonna go for 15 scoop and let's see how the tank is gonna handle there guys stay tuned hold on so yeah guys, I'm gonna add the 15 scoop right in the cup. 
I'm not far for far for this process. You guys don't want to see me doing this. Like, well, I'm gonna be, you know, messing it up and pouring the tank. So I'm gonna add the fifth, fifth in scoop. Like I said, I already got my 20 gallon here set up. So let's see, man. I hope I kill all the nuisance algae. That's one right here. Two. I'm doing this right. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Your 15 scoop. Let me miss it up. Where, where the hell? Oh, right here. Let me miss that up, guys, and pour in the tank. Hopefully, I kill all this news is out on you, man. It's just. This stuff is just eating my fox feed. I can't even re fox feed right now in the water. I will definitely do a water chain because after you kill this um, algae, use this algae, um, definitely your nutrients will um, raise up the fast phase and you want to pull that stuff out. And everything that's in the back, it might fall on the bottom of the tank, so I definitely got to do a water change. So there you go, guys. And like I said, I'm going to be filming tomorrow. I'm gonna give it a 24 hours. Right now, where I live, it's like around six in the afternoon. So there you go, guys. Let's see. Thank you, guys, man, to help me out for real and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, for real. And thumbs up. I'm gonna make something real special for you guys when I hit my thousand subscribers. Let me um, keep going, pouring this. I don't even know how the tank is gonna react, guys, be honest. But that's it. I finally put the trigger. I get, um, you know, I give it a shot today. And. Is because you guys too. You guys, like I said, helping me out, and I really appreciate that. So that's it, guys. I really, I can be clean to the tank. I just can't wait to see what is going to happen now. For now, like I said, I'm going to film tomorrow, and um, to see how the tank is going to look. I'm going to give it 24 hours. You got to wait 48 hours for the trimming to work. So that's it, guys. I hope you guys like this video, and. Um, I see you guys in the next one. So what's up, guys? It been 24 hours since the last film. Um, I, I must to say, guys, um, the same bed look pretty clean. See that? I haven't done nothing to it. The same look pretty clean. So that's a plus. But I still got a little bit up there. Let me load down the... Um, Airstone. So, like I say, guys, look at that. Seems like it's going away. It's going to take time. I don't know if I got to do it twice. Got to think about it. But after this, after the 48 hours, I will do a water change. I got my water right here. I'm about to fit the tank. And let me just show you guys real quick. I can't even brush it up. It's just stuck. It's crazy. All right, guys. On the next one. What's going on, guys? We're back. It's been 48 hours. I just turned off the uh, air storm. And I want to say something, guys. That stuff that I'm dealing with, still strong, guys. Look at that. I must to say, the chemical did something, it worked a little bit. Because I don't have that much, but I don't think that's cyano, guys. That's some of the type of algae that is growing. And I think it's changing color because 
my potassium being high, uh, like I said, you can see it here. I can't grab a toothbrush. I'm gonna show you real quick. I was trying to brush it off, guys, and look. It will not go anywhere. You see what I'm saying? Strong. Um, so that's telling me something, you know what I mean? It might be some coralline algae, maybe, you know, changing color, like this chalice is just change color. So yes, guys, I don't think that's cyano. Uh, somebody coming, you know, about Melly Reef, he in, had an interview with somebody big from the reefing community about talking about potassium. I hide to keep the potassium, 600 to 800 ppm, guys. That is crazy. I watched the whole interview and there's a lot of good information there. But um, yes, guys, um, I think that's the problem. I'm just gonna let it be in the core, they're looking good. I just, I don't know, I'm being too picky. I just being too picky, I just gotta let, you know, things along. So I did the treatment and I give it a shot. I like to try new stuff. And it worked on my sandbag. The sandbag looked spotless. You guys gotta remember, I had like a green film right above my sandbag. That stuff is gone, man. And I'm happy, you know. I removed a couple pieces of my corals that I have here. From this coral right here, it's growing so much, it's just falling apart. But yes, um, the elegant is still looking good. The coral, they look good. The fish, they, ooh, the blue light turned off. So, so yes, guys, that's it. I'm just going to do the water change now and finish this video. They recommend to do 20 gallon water change. And let's finish this video, guys. And thank you for everyone that be helping me out. Thank you for everyone that subscribed to my channel and showing love and support. I really appreciate it, guys. So anyway, let me keep going with this water change and I see you guys doing the water change. So yes, guys, um, so I'm gonna do the 20 gallon water change. And I'm, I'm not gonna be disturbing my sand too much, guys. Uh, I might take the 20 gallon out and place, you know, the fresh one, the fresh water that I have here. And that's it. I just wanna say thanks everybody that has subscribed and subscribe guys, the one that haven't subscribed, <laughs> share my videos and thumbs up and I appreciate everyone that be, like I said, be helping me out. Well, I see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna um, leave it here. My, look at my rainbow fungi guys. Is that beautiful? That look gorgeous. Rainbow. Man. Fonja. Why are you close? So you got shy. So anyway, guys, yes, I'm just gonna leave it here and I'll see you guys in the next one.